So we got a couple draft videos. They just passed an automatic draft in the House, and they, they just passed an amendment in the Senate drafting women. So this video is from seven years ago. Seven years. So that was when the orange man was president. Congress is set to vote on a new provision for women to sign up for a military draft. It didn't, it didn't pass, obviously. But let's see what women think about having to get drafted. Let's just skip to the interviews. Here we go. For women in the military and, you know, women want to be able to um, be out in the... This is like, weirdly enough, this is the kind of like, I don't want to call her beautiful. But this is the like the the rural mid that men would fall in love with in high school, marry and cherish forever, like back. In oh the yeah, day. like small town, not yeah. too many people around. Like if you saw her, you know you'd be smitten. Like kind of quirky, like we'll go catfishing with you, kind of stuff. But now, you know, she's in the air force. She probably, oh, man, it's probably a nuclear reactor site inside that Puneeti, despite looking like this. Like in the infantry to be in, uh, in spec ops and all that. And I think if they want that, being drafted comes right along with that. If the women can make it in the at the physical level, that's what they need. Because we're not going to leave anyone behind. I feel like that would be fair, that if women want to join the military, and I feel like... Bro, she's only saying this because there's no way they're going to draft her ass, bro. You know what she'd be drafted as, Chaz? What? A sandbag. <laughs> Put these glasses on a sandbag, and look, it's Casey Griner. <laughs> like there's a lot of women that do and have a lot to offer in the military that it would be fair if there was a draft for everybody to be drafted. Just allowing women to have the same opportunities as men throughout the military. It's probably necessary to have the sign up for the okay, draft. Product, I don't think product. it has. They obviously mean just like the cushiony, you're stuck at the base, just typing out a computer kind of opportunities. They don't really mean like they would say that they do, but deep down they do not mean the same opportunities as full on frontline infantry getting shot at. Yeah, they're not thinking about getting their legs blown off. <laughs> they're thinking about like, they're, like they're, riding, they're riding around the, in like uniforms. They're playing dress up, bro. They're, they're thinking they're, about playing dress up. They're gonna fly the drone. It's gonna be super fun playing with the joystick along with, you know, the 30 other joysticks that they play with because they're a barracks bunny, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. No, they think it's all dress up. They think it's playing dress up. It's been necessary to use it and hopefully it never will be. I think it'll be too rough for them. And I think it'd be more dead women than it is the dead men, person. <laughs> she knows the truth. Doesn't mean you shouldn't get drafted, though. I mean, you vote, you should get drafted. Because, first of all, they got to carry a whole bunch of heavy equipment and stuff. I just don't think we'll be able to handle it. I think that women should be included in the draft because there's no reason why they shouldn't. And I think that if women can be in frontline positions in the military, they should also be able to be included in the draft. You know, with equal rights comes equal. That woman has never been punched in the face before, by the way. <laughs> She's never been sucker punched. She never wrestled, wrestled around. She never broke a bone because someone else broke it. Very sheltered. More responsibility and the responsibility of citizenship to serve your country in a time in a national emergency is, is paramount. Um, I'm not as sure that I think selective service is the right way to do that. It is. It is. Send them to the front lines. Now we got Boomer Boy here. Um, Boomer, this is about the recent draft bill. Do you think he's upset about women getting drafted or happy? Just off his look. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, I think he'd be mad. Oh, yeah. He's like, we need to protect our women. We need more young men dying because it's their duty and responsibility to die. Hey, old um, hey, old Amish Boomer McGee, uh, should women be allowed to vote? Of course they should. We're all equal. Okay, I don't know if that's what he actually believes, but just giving off the look, you know, he's fine with American men being slaughtered for bankers overseas, but as soon as the thought of a woman dying overseas, then he gets his little... Hand sewn cotton panties in a jamble. I was trying to think of a funny way to say panties in a twist. Good job. Off grid with Doug and Stacy. Oh, they're off grid. Oh, man, I can just smell this motherfucker from here, bro. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say. To it, I normally don't post videos on Saturday, but if you're new around here, this information is so good, okay, that I had to put this video up today because. Does he have a hole in his hat? You see that? Look at uh, this. Right here. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Bro, he's trying or maybe to it's, make... it's not. It's clearly not hair. No, no, I can see like the fibers of the hat. No, I'm saying no. like the sun on his forehead. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he's making sure his dermatologist gets paid in 10 years. That's all. Because they did this last night while you were sleeping. House passes a resolution to automatically enroll men 18 to 26 into the military draft. There you go. I, I mean, the poll, I said, would you fight in a draft? We got 94% no. If you answered yes in the 6%, let me know in chat. Just say I would actually fight um, because I want to fucking ban you from this channel. I would love to fight and die if I was drafted. I, I would run onto the battlefield happy, smile on my face, just thinking about all the other countries that I'm dying for. Well, Truly, smoke, that's what I love. I would for. smoke so much weed during training, they would not be able to send me over there. Mm -mm. Although I'd probably just go straight to jail anyhow. So it's sometimes whatever. I wonder if I could like just go full retarded autist to like get out of it. <laughs> just like no, how gonna do you make, shoot a gun? Dude, they're how gonna make a, they're gonna make a spectrum special unit, and their goal is to defend. <laughs> their leader. goal is to defend the train lines in combat. <laughs> <laughs> to like defend the tree and then we like they'll have the most like hero i think uh if they did a spectrum special ops train defense unit per number of combat deaths they would they would get the most medal of honors because the amount of just heroism you would see bro you would see like spurgs throwing train carts onto enemy tanks i i, I would gladly die for the sake of those trains <laughs> my toga tree <laughs> he Ta out is a that thomas the tank engine <laughs> To see him run out with like a machete just decapitating people. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Get away from the caboose. It's mine. It's my favorite, oh. it's my favorite car. Yeah, each what each the... each autismo gets one car to defend with their life. <laughs> Bro, the autist that gets to defend like the coal car, right? They love Twitter, right? They're po constantly posting coal on the timeline. They're That's just printing favorite. out pictures of white women that like have like black babies. And like posting, like pasting them onto the individual pieces of coal. <laughs> They're throwing the coal at the fucking enemies, right? Like a catapult. <laughs> On this brings a fucking trebuchet. Yep. Let's continue. The House of Representatives passed a resolution Friday that automatically enrolls young men for selective service and expands the mandatory draft age by one year to men aged 18 to 26. Young men are already required to register for selective services if they are between the ages of 18 and 25, but the new resolution would enroll them automatically. Although the draft has not been in use for half a century, it is considered a felony if an eligible man fails to register. Felony. They lock your ass up, bro. They lock your ass up if you don't sign up for the draft. I signed up for it because I had to. And uh, again, I will gladly spend time in jail to avoid fighting for this decrepit, disgusting system. Let's continue. Call me a felon. <laughs> You're not getting drafted, boomer boy. Like the I love how all these like 60 year old men are just like, I would never answer the draft call. You're not going to get called in, bro. As if. I'm outside that age range, but you know what they're going to do? They expand it real quick. They expand that age range real quick. Like right the now, it's 18 to 26. Pretty soon, they'll probably try to upgrade 18 to 30. If they can't right? get any more, they'll be like, okay, now we're drafting 26 to 30 year olds, too. I mean, Ukraine's drafting fucking 45 year old men. They're, they're trying to like get their like, you know, boner pills and they get drafted. <laughs> Slava Ukraine. Die for the Jewish leader, I guess, because he's not white, but he wants as many white men to die as possible, but I won't get into that. This was included in the National Defense Authorization Act, which approves for the defense budget for next fiscal year. Snuck into another bill that was passed without anyone reading it. 
The NDAA passes the House in a 217 to 199 vote. By using the available federal database, the Selective Service Agency will be able to register all of the individuals required and thus help ensure that any future military draft is fair and equitable. Do you guys... Does that mean they're going to be actually drafting more minorities? Because I think it's what... White men and black men are the one over are the ones overrepresented in the army. Like, I guess I don't know what the recent numbers are, but historically it's been majority white men and then a uh, a big chunk of black men. I think after I think during Vietnam and after Vietnam, I think during Desert Storm was some black men were taking advantage of the GI Bill and OCS school and such to get out of the hood and like make something out of themselves and join the military, but. What they think that – because when they say make something fair and equitable, Chaz, usually that means as many gays, women, and non-white people in it as possible, right? Yeah. So are they going to start pulling people out of pride parades and send them to Ukraine? <laughs> that would be really funny. Choose your weapon. You see this gay guy with two rainbow dildos. He's just like the master assassin. <laughs> it's like, hey, yo, we saw you helicopter the shit like that, you know, in the parade. We need you to man the helicopter. Some Russian, right? some Russian soldier. Ivan, the Americans have sent the homosexual unit. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> they just start marching down. They're like, we're gay. We're proud. We're gay. We're loud. And they get blown up by an by an artillery shell. Oh man, that's bad. Let's continue. Guys, understand what's going on? Do you understand what's going on? Military enlistment is at an all time low. People are waking up. You know, a lot of these young kids they've been brought into the mindset that they don't even want to have guns or fight wars or anything. So that also is debil. I mean, that's on the left. On the right is they don't want to die for Israel. They don't want to die for BLM. They don't want to die for pride. What percentage of people think the U.S. government is corrupt in the U.S.? Like 80%, 90%? Are you going to die for that now? No. No. It's all different things. It's not the, it's, it's not the fact that it's liberals and soft hipsters have never been the people joining the draft. Do you know what the one demographic is? Is is one that explains the entire lack of military recruitment. What? Straight white men. Ah. Straight white men looked at the way the country treated them, and they said, "Fuck that, fuck that." That's exactly what it is. Because if you're if you're if you're a black dude and you join the military to get the fuck out of the hood. To get to better yourself, you don't care if you guys sit through some diversity shit. You're, you're out of the hood. You're getting paid. You're good. You know, uh, good for you, I guess. I mean, I would say move, get a trade degree. But hey, some people don't have even access to like a thousand dollars to move, two thousand dollars to move. So I, I'm not gonna roast them too bad. But young, straight, white men, I said, fuck the U.S. military, fuck the U.S. government, and they stopped. It's not a bunch of hipster. Like, I don't like guns. I don't like war. No. It's aggressive, testosterone-filled young white men, which some people don't think exist anymore, but that's because uh, yeah, they didn't have any aggressive young white men sons themselves. Shout out to um, Angry MGTOW, old boomer bitch. That's why no one's joining the military. Let's continue. Debilitating. Okay, America and our readiness to defend ourselves. But I want you guys to understand something, man. Please keep paying attention to this stuff. I'm going to show you guys right now a couple of clips from Ukraine because the Ukrainians are over there and they're taking kids away from their moms and they're stuffing grown men into vans and they're, st they're dragging them into the military bases to make them serve. My favorite video from Ukraine is there was a Ukrainian um, man. I think he was like, I don't know if he was a, I think he was a soldier. And he went back to his home village on leave and he went to the village council. And the village council was like 80% women, a bunch of old fat women and a couple of really old guys. And they were discussing 
how are they going to find more young men that live in the village to send them to the army? And they were discussing, like, when they could send the cops to go pick them up. Like, how are we going to get more of our young men to go die to fight Russia, right? And this military guy was trying to speak up, and they kept on ignoring him, kept on ignoring him. And he, I think he said – I'm not sure what the translation was exactly, but I think he said, fine, listen to this. And he's in this little crowded room, all these old women in government deciding to send men to die. And this motherfucker just starts throwing grenades. Oh, damn. Yeah, he throws like four grenades. My favorite video from Ukraine. Bless his soul. Bless his soul. I'm not going to listen to a woman telling me to die for the West. I refuse. I refuse. When all the Ukrainian women are acting like prostitutes in the UK, in Germany, in Poland, banging every dude from every ethnicity while their men die for their country. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> Damn, this is like to catch a predator. Why don't you see? Take a seat right over, right over here. Dude, they're even forcing twinks. Look. <laughs> they're drafting the fem boys, bro. Look. <laughs> He's like, but I wear heels every week. Oh, you gotta get Fine, in. you'll be the barracks bunny then. No! <laughs> you gotta be the barracks bunny. Oh, man. Okay, dude. So imagine you get, like, the letter in the mail saying you've been drafted. You get to view your exact role, and you see it, and it says barracks bunny. I, like, what the fuck? <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh. Let's continue. Yeah. All these people are pigs. They should be on the front line. Every single one of these ones should be on the front line. Yeah, aren't they like young, fit, able-bodied enough to yeah. like if they can shove a guy in a car? You know, I'm sure that they could. You know, they put can that straight to good work. Yeah, they could load a rifle. See, at this point, if this is my younger brother and there were these, like, Zog bots trying to do this, you start knocking them out. You knock their block off. If anybody has a more punchable jaw in the world, let me know. That's just asking for, like, a Mike Tyson knockout. Wake up with a broken mandible in your shitty hospital. Are these like, is this military recruiters or are these just actual like groomers? Like, <laughs> like imagine being a group of dudes that want to like abduct and force Ukrainian men into like, I don't know, gay porn videos and you just slap the sign on the side of your van like we're drafters. <laughs> just force them in. Oh man. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Okay, enough of these videos. Where's Boomer Boy? There he is. It all the time is, Doug, what do you think is going to happen with all these young kids? They're not going to join the military. They're not signing up for service. They're not going to fight the bankers' wars. They're going to be dragged into it. Don't you guys understand this? Don't you understand? Wait. Jazz. Tell me what you would do if they tried to force you to die for a banker. I got to get something real quick. I mean, it's kind of hard to say. If five men bigger than me are shoving me into a car, it's like, you know, I can't really do much about that. But if I if I was, like, sent into, like, a training camp, boot camp, I would legitimately just try to be the most obnoxious motherfucker. Like, I don't care. I would, I would just try to do as much as I possibly could. Like, if I'm getting sent out to the front lines, I will make it everybody's problem. Specifically, like, whoever is in my command, right? If he's telling me a shape-up, I say, square or circle? Tri triangle? 
right? Like I would just try my hardest to not give a shit. So here's the options. Cause they don't really send Ukrainian men to jail. They actually force them to die. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they'll probably just send you to jail. So they come up to me and say, chronic, you got to join the military. If you don't, you go to jail. I'll just walk out, surrender myself. I'm going to go to jail. No, you know, I'll, I'll see you guys in court or wherever. If I see if I see stories about men doing that and being forced into the military regardless, I see stories about them just forcing them straight to training camp. Do you know what I have that Ukrainian men don't? What? A really ah. fucking big gun. <laughs> like a really big gun. Like, uh... I think this thing costs like I think it's two dollars a bullet or two fifty now. A very large gun. Um, if you think Boomer Boy, I'm going to willingly fight the banker's war. I got a little friend named Henry right here to prove you and every other Zog bot wrong. And yes, I will live stream it. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Ain't no fucking way. If the if they want me to fight, I'll fight. But I'm going to choose who I'm fighting. I'm not going to fight the people the banker boys want me to fight. I'm going to fight the Zog Chow. Okay, let me put, it, let me put this... Just, oh, stupid. Oh, Dude, I gotta send you pictures of this one. It's beautiful. Maybe I actually probably wouldn't use this one because I want it to stay clean for the rest of its life. But, damn, this is nice. Okay, give me a second. No, I take your time. Right now, I'm trying to work on like a thumbnail. Just like get it super just. Yeah, look at this guy. He's just like, because they can, he's like, because in a country of what, 20 million, they can just send the militarized NATO police to force Zoomers to fight. That's going to happen in the U.S. Yeah, it's not going to happen in the U.S., bro. Stuff of the Democrats, they're supposed to be against the war program, which I was very shocked to understand this, but. It's all part of the gaslighting. When when Donald Trump was in office, we didn't have anything going on. Okay, the 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 place was pretty quiet. Uh, as soon as Biden got into office, I was talking to my son. You know, they're both in the military, and I was like, "Boy, things are really going to be quiet." You let your you let your sons join the military, bro. You are a cuckold. That is cucking with your blood. You let your sons join the military? Do you have any idea what's going on? You know, I, I put money down. This guy's a feminist, too. Well, let's continue. And now, and he said, man, are you kidding? He said, as soon as Democrats get in office, that's when everything pops off. And I was like, are you serious? I never really paid attention to it. I just listened to the hype on the media all the time. But sure enough, as soon as Biden got into office, we had Afghanistan, Ukraine, all this stuff popping off, Africa, everything's crazy everywhere, Israel over there. Now it doesn't stop. When was Africa not crazy? But wait, when was Africa not crazy? I can't uh, think during colonialism times, but even then, the white people came, they conquered, and you know what they did? They said, hey, black Africans that were oppressing, we don't like those white people over there. Let's fuck them up. <laughs> it's, it's what they did. Can't have two white guys in charge of anything without them trying to throw some hands, but uh, let's continue. Up there, that was in the House. In the Senate, you guys are gonna love this one. I am going to love it. Unironically, I'm going to love it, Boomer Boy. The U.S. Senate Armed Service Committee intends to require women to register for selective service as part of the National Defense Authorization Act. Praise God. Praise God. Finally. We've been talking about drafting women for decades. Ever since I started my channel, I've been talking about it. 
finally, it's going to happen. Finally. FY25. Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Strengthening, this is right here is the armed services right here. You guys can go look all this information up for yourself. Uh, if you guys are on our email list, I'll be sending out some links for you guys. It authorizes the funding and support of 4.5% pay raise for the military members. And it's also a present pay raise for DOD civilian employees. Amends the Military Selective Service Act to require mm. the registration of... Fuck yes. 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 Dude, test. This is such a fucking win for us. Fuck yeah. Like, I don't know why you're so not excited about this. Oh, I'm working on a thumbnail right now. Is this but, day, uh, is it like one day out of your three-day gooning session fueled by meth? Okay, fuck off, man. It's like, okay, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what, you know what Chaz? You know what, Chaz? I think you'd have more excitement if someone, if someone from the, the Dragon Ball studio said, we're going to give Yamcha a solo hour and a half movie in theaters. I mean, th that's something to you actually... You be screaming and That's something that affects me. That's something that affects me. What do you mean? Me. We're just... A, what is... Greg up. You know what? I, I should just understand our perspectives, right? I'm having a bit of an off day, man. Chaz is out that. here using a dissecting microscope. He's like, oh, look at how this... Look at how this wiggles, this little thing. What is it, Chaz? What is it? What is it, Chaz? What are you looking at? Oh, that's just a, a sperm sample. Under the microscope. Why am I looking at a sperm sample? I don't know, Gregor. <laughs> Why are you not excited about women having to fight in the war? You, let's just move on. I don't want to embarrass you anymore. Let's move on. Well, I don't want I'm to give you the platform. I don't want to man. give you the platform to embarrass yourself anymore, Gregor. Women in the Damn, selective. Hard, hard. Yeah, Damn. that. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed, Chaz. A little bit fucking disappointed. <laughs> Can't tell. Service introduces a number of provisions to improve DOD efforts related to traumatic brain injuries and blah blah blah. Do you guys understand what's going on? Now they're coming after our kids and they're going to put them in this banker's war. Okay. okay this hold up. What does he mean? Like now they're coming after our kids? No, men have always had to be drafted. Your sons are in the military right no now that they're coming after our daughters right yep. not kids daughters specifically right but notice how he tried to say now they're coming, they're coming after, after our kids. kids boomer bitch have you heard of something called the vietnam war now they're coming after our kids didn't your two cuck boy sons volunteer for the military did they do that no nah. Says, you can't call a, a special ops person a cuckold, bro. They're a certified killer. Yeah, they'd kill you in a gunfight, probably. They'd destroy you. Well, what's his context? You know, Chaz, there are cucks that are bad at being cucks. How is that possible? You just let your wife get fucked. Well, they it starts and they start crying and they run away. It's a bad cuck. I think those oh. cucks who are really good at being cucks. Really good at cucks. Like Jack Murphy. Everybody gets cleaned toe to toe to um, scalp with his tongue when they leave uh, and when they enter. Top to bottom, bro. Yep. That's gross. Yep, he's like a cat. Oh. Just for that zinc. Um, you could be the most deadly killer in the world. If you sacrifice your blood for the USA, you're a fucking cuckold. Like, if, if you're ignorant, I'll give you a pass. If you didn't know what the deal was, I'll give you a pass. But I'm ignorant. how long could you be stupid? So some of the military guys, oh, he's just a fucking retard. I get it. But, how, I mean, how do you stay ignorant in 2024 about all this shit? I don't get it. Let's continue. New World Order War. I hope you guys can see what's going on. A list of all the Democrats that voted for your daughters to get drafted into service now. They should. <laughs> Unironically, they should. And this separates us from Republican cuckolds. We want actual equality. If they should vote, they should die. It's simple as that. If they vote, they should have the right to die. Let's go on. 
Uh, one's from New Hampshire, New York, Connecticut, Hawaii, Vermont, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Michigan, West Virginia, Illinois, Nevada, and Arizona. I don't know why that list doesn't actually surprise me. But Jack Nevada. Reed, Shaheen, Gil Gillibrand. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do to defend your daughter? You know, I'll tell you, Chaz, you know what you think he's going to do? What? Jack shit. Yeah, probably. Send three state troops, send three men in military garb to his house to get his daughter to go to war and their hats off to serve. The country needs her. He's going to be upset. He's going to post a YouTube video, but that's fuck all he's going to do. That's what he's going to do. Blumenthal, Hirano, Kane, King. I almost Kane, thought you said Harambe. Fuck. <laughs> Bro me, bro, me too. Me fucking too. <laughs> Senator Harambe? I'd be like, wait a second. You're like, he didn't die. He was undercover this whole time. Dude, should I change my last name to Harambe and run for the U.S. Senate? Yeah. Dude, I might fucking no, no. win. Ch change your whole name to Harambe Armstrong, right? Right? No, it's got, I think your last name has to be Harambe because they call you Senator Harambe, right? Fuck. Oh, oh d damn it. You're right. You're right. Harambe. What would be a good first name for Harambe? It has to be some Old Testament shit. Wait, wait, I got one. I got one. Jebediah. Ah, oh, Jebediah. Jebediah Harambe. Harambe. <laughs> Gracie C. Peters, Joe Manchin, West Virginia, Tammy Joe Duckworth, Mama. Jackie Sorry. Rosen, Mark Kelly. Call their offices nonstop. That's a whole list of all the Democrats that actually voted to send your daughters. Why is he, why is this a big why is this big talking point? Women should die for their country. Uh, into the draft service in America. So I hope you guys are paying attention right now. Uh, this is not like gonna go away. Okay? This isn't gonna go away. Good. Women should be responsible for the rights they've abused for hundreds of years. They should. Why were we in Iraq? women <laughs> why were we in vietnam women i mean every single election since the 60s has been decided by women they're the majority voting base so you know why Chaz? why what do most men have to do compared to women i mean the draft right work work okay yeah yeah and so women sit around oh i'm gonna go vote to ruin this country. Thanks, bitches. Thanks. They're, they're moving forward every single day. They have a plan and they are sticking to it. I don't know if you guys have also noticed too. I'm going to share with you guys something real quick before you get out of here. And just let me know if you're seeing the same thing, right? But how many updates are you guys getting on your phones and your computers? Oh, now we're schizo posting. Fuck yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. Like, he's like, they're spying on you through your phones. Bitch, we've known that for like 10 years now. <laughs> you don't say. Oh, just... Hey, you know, Chronic, Hey, Chaz, been... you know in 2016, Donald Trump won the presidential election? <laughs> just, just what? Skits. But I'm schizo posting about it in 2024, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm holding up my phone right now. You know, I'm just holding my phone in my hands. Man, I sure wish that... I could get like a very nice piece of chocolate, right? Right now I'm craving chocolate, some kind of candy. Oh, look at that. I just got an ad for a Reese's cup. Who could fucking see that one coming? Oh, ooh, a wonga. Damn, it knows what I like. If you want, government. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the channel, consider donating to cashapp.cashine under chronic. That's cashapp.cashine under chronic. If you want more lighthearted content with a red pill flavor, consider subscribing to Kite and Chaz. His channel link is in the description.